Okay, in the last tutorial, we understood briefly what binary tree is. And in this tutorial, I'm going to introduce almost complete binary tree to you. Now, as I said already, heap is an almost complete binary tree. So in order to understand the heap data structure, we need to understand what almost complete binary tree is. As the name says, almost complete binary tree is, of course, is a binary tree, but it is created in a particular way. When we construct almost complete binary tree, then we insert the nodes level by level, one after another from left to right. That means if this is a binary tree with one node, only the root that contains R, and we want to insert another node to this binary tree, which is almost complete, then we are going to insert the next node to the left of this R here. And if we want to insert another one, then that should be to the right of the R now. So in this way, we need to go on inserting the nodes level by level, one after another, left to right. In that way, it's going to be almost complete. Now, if I want to insert one more, it's going to be to the left of A. Here, we are inserting Y to the right of A. And then it should be to the left of B and to the right of B. So once the once a level is complete, then only we can go to the next level. I just cannot go on and insert a new node here to the right of W. That's illegal. Then it's a binary tree, of course, but it's not going to be almost complete binary tree. So in order to be almost complete binary tree, always the insertion goes in this way, left to right, level by level. So I hope you have understood what almost complete binary tree is. Now the benefit of having almost complete binary tree is that we can represent this almost complete binary tree easily using one dimensional array and that we are going to understand in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.